Hello. In this video, we're going to take a little bit closer look at the Siemens RDY2000 commercial room thermostat. First thing to consider is that the RDY2000 is much more than a typical room thermostat. It can control up to three, three stages of heat, three stages of cooling in a conventional application, as well as heat pumps with up to two compressors and up to two stages of auxiliary heat. In addition to having all the standard relay outputs to control this equipment, it also has three configurable relay outputs that can be used to control humidification equipment, dehumidification equipment, ventilation equipment, and even send a uh, occupancy signal or an enable signal to your economizer controller. We can also set it up to accept inputs from remote temperature sensors, remote humidity sensors, even remote air quality sensors so we, we can execute a uh, demand control ventilation sequence from the thermostat. Now, the thermostat itself, highly configurable, highly flexible, really the Swiss army knife of commercial room thermostats. However, don't be intimidated by that because it's also very easy to set up. The first time you power up the RDY2000, it's going to go through its startup sequence, at the conclusion of which it will go to what we call the setup wizard. The setup wizard walks you through a handful of parameters that are pretty much common to any HVAC system. Uh, very basic things like how many stages of heat, how many stages of cooling, so on and so forth. Once you get through all the setup, uh, the wizard setup parameters, you can pretty much walk away from the system at that point. It's up and running. Or if you're doing some custom applications like demand control ventilation or humidification, dehumidification, you can go into the installer menu and do some additional more detailed setup. So let's take a quick walk through the uh, setup wizard. The first thing it's going to ask us is what type of system are we dealing with here? Is it a conventional system or is it a heat pump application? In this case, let's say that it's a conventional system. Now it's going to ask us how many stages of cooling do we have? Now let's go with two stages of cooling and two stages of heating. Next step is heating fan. What the thermostat is asking us here is do we want the thermostat to activate the fan when we're in heating mode or does the furnace or the rooftop unit or the heating equipment itself have its own control logic and its own relay for enabling the fan. Uh, in most conventional systems the HVAC equipment will typically want to make the decision on when to start the fan when we're in heating mode. So let's leave that as no meaning that the furnace will determine when to run the fan in heating mode. Next thing it's going to ask us is scheduler. Um, this is a fully programmable thermostat um, and we have several scheduling options. Option number one is zero, meaning that there isn't, we're disabling the scheduler entirely. The second option is option one, meaning that we have one schedule for all seven days of the week. Option number two is same schedule for Monday through Friday in a different schedule for Saturday and Sunday. Option three is same schedule for Monday through Friday, different schedule for Saturday, different schedule for Sunday. And then finally, seven means that we can have a different schedule for each day of the week. Next question is how many programming periods per day? Uh, in a commercial application, there's typically going to be two. We'll have a nighttime mode and a daytime mode. Daytime is when our space is occupied and we want a comfort set point. Nighttime is typically when the space is unoccupied and it'll go to a uh, economy or energy saving set point. In a residential application, it's common to have four periods per day. You might be at comfort in the morning when people are up and about and getting ready for work or school. Uh, then you might have a setback uh, set point while they're away. Then in the evening when everybody comes home, we go back to a comfort set point. And finally, at the end of the day, when everybody's going to bed, then we go back to our uh, comfort or our economy set point. Okay, next up, we have to de uh, determine if we want the thermostat to display in degrees Fahrenheit or degrees Celsius. In this case, we will stick with the default of degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, next question is, do we want automatic changeover? In other words, do we want the thermostat to automatically change between heating mode and cooling mode uh, based on the difference between set point and room temperature? or do we want to leave that strictly as a manual changeover? In this case, we'll stick with the uh, automatic changeover. Now, 
since we've selected automatic changeover, now we have to select a dead band so that we can make sure that we're not constantly shifting back and forth uh, between heating and cooling. Uh, our research here at Siemens indicates that five degrees is typically a good, solid, reliable dead band for uh, automatic changeover. Uh, the installer does have the ability to change that, but in this case, my recommendation is to stick with the factory default of five degrees F. And then the last question is daylight savings time. Do we want the thermostat to automatically adjust for daylight savings time, or do we want to leave that to be a manual adjustment made by the user? In this case, for simplicity's sake and for user convenience, we'll leave that an automatic change between daylight savings time and standard time. So at that point, we've walked through the setup, the setup wizard, and we just simply hit confirm, and now those values have been accepted, and the system at this point really is up and running. Um, so we can exit completely and walk away simply by hitting the uh, settings icon, and now the system is up and running. If we wanted to go in and do some further configuration or customization, then we would go into the installer setup menu and adjust additional parameters. So this concludes the introduction to the setup wizard on the Siemens RDY 2000 thermostat. Thank you very much for your attention.